We've been planning and looking forward to Rob's mom and sister coming all the way from California to Italy to meet baby Robbie. We decided that we'd enjoy a bit of a staycation, enjoying the surrounding areas and driving to some special spots to have epic lunches and dinners. Turn around, look at that. Welcome back to our renovation in Tuscany. If it's your first time joining us, take a look inside our villa and explore our previous videos at the top right. Let's jump right into what's been happening lately. It's been quite challenging to get out of the house for walks with baby Robbie. We've had so many recent appointments and checkups throughout the week, so we decided to make the effort and explore a natural park reserve 30 minutes away from home. We've been to this park multiple times and you'll often see lots of deer scattered throughout. Today we weren't quite lucky to see some of the natural inhabitants, but it was great getting out either way. So they got frogs, deer, little birds. They have cows too? Mucche pisane. Do you see that? Where's the little nugget? Sweet. It's gonna be smooth, floaty. It's gonna be Mr. Rugged out, outdoorsman. Yeah, I know. We came out for a walk since it's a holiday weekend, kind of a long holiday weekend here in Italy. We came to this nature reserve that's in Pisa. It's absolutely gorgeous right now. It's a little chilly. Going this way, there's actually the beach. So it's a sandy beach over here in Pisa compared to where we live. It's very rocky, but it wasn't too far of a drive so we could enjoy some fresh air and um, enjoy the scenery out here. This has been such a special time with the baby's arrival and we've been planning and looking forward to Rob's mom and sister coming all the way from California to Italy to meet baby Robbie. Before we know it, they'll be here. This will be their first time traveling to Italy, so we really want to make their visit special. and making sure that the construction goes forward. So expensive pieces of furniture and really large pieces of furniture have really been on hold for the time being. One of the things that were really fundamental was getting the couch so that we have a place to sit in for the time being during their visit. Um, that's something that we really couldn't do without because we can't necessarily sit on the floor. There's going to be two more adults here, so there's going to be five adults in total and then our little guy here. He's finally settled down. 
So mom's helping out by vacuuming all of this stuff here. That old rug that we have for the time being. And then Rob's getting ready for the arrival of the couch and we're gonna start moving everything in. Luckily, we have a helping hand here um, because if it was just the two of us, it'd be really difficult to try to like get all of this done. Rob and I were really looking forward to our new couch. It's a modular design that will allow us to adapt and change the layout if we decide to later down the road. We wanted to have lots of space to lounge and chat without feeling cramped. All of the sections of the couch need to pass through the sliding door, so Rob and my mom wanted to make it as easy as possible to unload it and start to set up. Of course, it happened to be a rainy day. One of the best aspects about doing the renovation has been being able to host friends and family. When we first set eyes on the property, we knew we wanted to enjoy the house and use the space. It'll take time for everything to get done, but in the meantime, we're making the most of it. All right, so we have the modular sofa. Not a bad delivery, very easy. And luckily they're all going to connect together. It makes it a lot easier to move than if we had one big piece. We have the experience of this couch, the old couch, being one piece and it was so heavy and such a headache to deal with. So I'm happy that this one is a lot more practical. Our new couch has just arrived. As you can see, it's in three pieces, uh, plastic wrap, all that kind of stuff. Luckily it was plastic wrap because it was raining outside right now. So it was all protected, but we're gonna go ahead and start assembling it. Thing is though, is we have one extra center piece that we're not gonna be utilizing because this couch is longer than four meters, which is longer than 12, 12, 13 feet. So it's too long for this space. So me and Andre decided to take out one of the center pieces, which is like a really nice armchair and use it either in the nursery, our bedroom, uh, any of our extra bedrooms. But for now, I think we'll leave it in the living room that we're in now and just use it on the side as like an armchair. But We'll go ahead, disassemble everything, put it together so that we can start utilizing it. We were so incredibly happy with our order. We chose a blue color to balance out nicely with the warm toned kitchen. The blue pairs nicely with the brass finishes and the walnut cabinets. We know that we still have so many elements to finish the living room, including the entertainment cabinet, rug, and not to mention the placement of the couch isn't final, but we're slowly getting there. We had a really busy day today and we're about to go pick up Rob's mom and sister from the airport. We actually had to go to the U.S. consulate in Florence to get Robbie's uh, citizenship. So it's been quite a long, busy, busy day. Now we're heading over to the airport and we'll get some dinner and hopefully get a really good night of sleep, all of us, uh, including the baby. And we're going to head out tomorrow and explore a little bit because we only have, I think, seven or eight days with them, including today, before they head back to California. So we're trying to pack in as much as we possibly can while they're here. Robbie is such a sweet little baby and doesn't mind taking long car rides. We made our way to the Pisa airport since it's much closer to us than Florence. All right, we're gonna go get your mom and your sister at the airport. Yep. It's their first time ever leaving the country, I think, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where my sister's really been. My sister's been a few places, but yeah. We decided that we'd enjoy a bit of a staycation, enjoying the surrounding areas and driving to some special spots to have epic lunches and dinners. Once we checked into our agroturismo, we made our way to Siena. Before heading into the city center, we had to stop for some delicious gelato. Ha 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 ha! 
Hey Rob. How's the little baby? Sleeping. Sleeping, baby. It was starting to get into the evening, so we made our way to the main piazza of Siena, where they have the palio twice a year. It was so special to see them experience Siena like this for the first time. church was gonna be one of the arms of it but they didn't have enough money to finish it After seeing the beautiful Duomo from the outside, we made our way back for dinner. Of course, there are always beautiful spots to see along the way. It was a bit of a drive, but we knew we had to take our special guest to an amazing restaurant for lunch. The views were so beautiful and overlooked the entire town. This special place is located in Cusi, near the border between Tuscany and Umbria. It might not be the most chic or the most modern restaurant, but it really takes us back and makes us feel like time has stood still. La Solita Zupa, special, special Tuscan restaurant in the QZ, very, very south of Tuscany, on the border of Umbria. It's this restaurant we came with with friends when we did a photo shoot one time. And it was absolutely delicious from that time. Yes, and when we came that time, it was our anniversary, so they, he gave us a card with our Polaroid in it, which was really, really sweet. But this place it specializes in Tuscan soups, or you know, typical Italian soups, and they that. It's always this, seasonal. This is so if you come in the spring yeah. and you come in the fall, the soups are completely different for what's growing in Tuscany at that time. The tagliatelle, any of the pasta, the peachy, everything is handmade here. Excellent. You'll find things on the menu here that you won't find in other regions of Tuscany. So it's a very special restaurant. It's a spe special place in our heart. Especially that, yes. That's why we wanted to show our family and show them this, this beautiful restaurant, this beautiful experience. Yeah. We started off with a little appetizer, a taste of figatini, crostini with chicken liver, a Tuscan favorite. We couldn't come to La Solita Zuppa without some soup. I had the asparagus soup and it was divine. Rob had the ginger ravioli. His sister had gnocchi with butter and sage. My mom had peachy with ragu. And my mother-in-law and I had tagliatelle a ragu bianco. All delicious options. We couldn't finish the meal without desserts. I tried the cherry tart with gelato and we finished off our meal with coffee and lots of laughs. Right up there by your head. Oh, those are cute. I wanted to. Yeah, those are the ones we had. Really? Yeah. 
After such a beautiful lunch, we made our way through the small town before heading back. Rob's sister is a very talented florist in California, and we happened to spot a cute flower shop. Let's just say she got a little inspired to put something together for us at the villa. beautiful afternoon. It's something that I'll cherish for a long time to come. Being able to share these special moments has been a big reason we wanted to set roots here. We know we're so far away from California, but we hope to show more friends and family another side of the world and share quiet afternoons like this in small Tuscan towns. It's gorgeous. It's so, I mean, majestic. It's unbelievable. Come up here. Come check out this view from up here. <laughs> Turn around. Look at that. It's amazing. We got away to Siena for a couple of days. We're staying in an agroturismo. We are taking Rob's mom, sister, and my mom around the area. And show them a bit more of Tuscany other than by the sea. So it's a nice change of pace for my mom especially. She's been here for quite a while. And we have an unbelievable view over here. And it's just very quiet in the countryside. We're loving it right now. We're a bit tired from going all around, but it's so worth it. We spent some time soaking in the views and then we headed off to dinner. Rob found an amazing spot within a 15 minute drive in the middle of the countryside. I'm pretty lucky that he's so great at finding spots to eat no matter what country or city we happen to be in. This particular spot was located in the middle of nowhere, but was completely packed. All of the outdoor seating was taken, so we made our way inside to enjoy a delicious bisteca a la Fiorentina. We made sure to order all of the fixings for our huge bisteca, including roasted potatoes, sauteed bitter greens, caramelized onions, and even fried artichokes. Our last stop before heading back to the villa was Monte Siepi Chapel, where a sword was placed in the stone by a saint. The views were so impressive. We took a look around the chapel, read about the sword story, and took in the beautiful frescoes.
With so much jam packed into the first few days of Rob's mom and sister's arrival, we decided to take it nice and slow and spend time at the villa by the sea. Rob and I are having a little slow Sunday and we decided to come to the hardware store because my mother-in-law and sister-in-law were just here and I was so lucky and fortunate that my sister-in-law set up a little cute herb garden for me that's just outside of my kitchen so I can get to it easily whenever we want to um, use herbs and different things for cooking. <laughs> Baby Robbie is such a pro at running around town now. A trip to the hardware store is just another opportunity for nap time. Italy is very dog friendly, but I never realized just how dog friendly it really is. Ever in the mood to take your dog with you to the hardware store? No problem. Once we got inside, we tried to stay focused on the things we needed for the herb garden. but it doesn't hurt to take a quick peek at the outdoor grilling section. And the garden section. The heart wants what the heart wants. I don't know how, but I managed to hold back and not buy any new plants. My sister-in-law was so kind and generous when she was here. She wanted to set up a little herb garden for us. Something that was really easy access to the kitchen and was, you know, gonna have all the herbs and things that we most commonly cook with and that we could just grab at a moment's notice. She cleared out this little area right here and started planting some stuff. Right here we have mint, sage and rosemary in pots. We have like a nice little trio right here. And then we have some oregano, thyme, two tomato plants, different types of tomatoes. Right here we have like a delicate kind of basil. And this is the basil we most commonly cook with here. And some zinnias, some beautiful flowers to throw in the mix here. When my sister-in-law first bought our little tomato plants, they were about yay high. And now they've grown really big over the last week. I can't believe she's been gone for a little over a week. And they've just grown so fast. So today we ran to the hardware store and my goal was to get some little steaks so that we could tie the little tomato plants. Cause if you look over here, we have our first little tomato. So cute. And I'm excited, I mean, this is the first time that I've had a little herb garden and growing actually tomato plants because I've tried it before and everything just died miserably. Robbie and I are enjoying our little herb garden coming out here during the daytime and in the evening just to look at it and see its progress. And it's a nice little reminder of our family back in California. Um, we really appreciate it. So thank you so much, Katie, for putting this together. Hosting family was the cherry on top of baby Robbie arriving. When we first set out on this villa renovation, we dreamed of being able to invite family and friends to enjoy the space, and we were able to do just that. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to follow us along this wild Italian journey. Mm -hmm.